America. There we go. There we go. What is America's destiny? What is best for our nation, our people? What is just, true justice? We have to think about all these things together as a people. To contemplate our future, to live up to our dream, we must have vision. We as a people. Okay, so far, I, I need to keep pausing this, okay? I'm not going to play. Uh, people are like, Armin, why are you pausing so much? Um, I'm going to pause and replay. I'm going to I'm gonna analyze this to death, okay? So far, nothing was said. Like, look at this. We're, all, we're almost halfway through. Look. America. What is America's destiny? What is, America? what is best for our nation, our people? What is just, true justice? Okay, so what is just, true justice? Like you're not saying anything. Like these are like just, just deputies. Like like what is like what is true justice? Is that, you, you know, if you're only making an ad that is like one minute twenty two seconds long, tell people how you're gonna solve this problem rather than defining justice. Like you're asking a philosophical question, like what is true just true justice? Like is that really you want to waste already eight seconds in out of out of a, like a one minute twenty two second video, asking people about what is what is true justice really means? Okay, hold on. We have to think about all these things. We have to think about all these things. Did you need to add that as a line? Like obviously, if you're bringing it up, you're asking people to think about it. Like what is the purpose of that line? That that line we have to think about all these things serves zero purpose together as a people yeah together together as a people as opposed to together as plants to contemplate our future to live up to our dream we must have vision we must do good things we must have vision to do good things and not do bad things we as a people will revive we as a people again th okay we as a people as opposed to what as plants okay look at this started here's the here's the propaganda comes in like he's this guy is running one rank for president the first thing he shows is christians doing prayer so you're not going to be like this is like we'll revive yeah, christianity right from the beginning okay somebody that wants to be a president for all americans not just christians our nation's commitment to faith okay so finally we're talking we're talking about the agenda right he wants to talk about the nation's commitment to faith you do realize that not all Americans have faith. You want to make the entire, your entire mission is to make America about something that doesn't represent all Americans. We'll revive our nation's commitment to faith. You, why is your nation's commitment to faith? That's his number one priority. Nation, uh, nation's commitment to faith. Your nation is not committed to faith. It wasn't founded being committed to faith. It, it, and it's becoming less committed to faith every goddamn year after the other one why is this is there an, is there an echo hmm? yes there yes is. there is what no there's an echo no there's an the echo screen. when you play this oh yeah screen. when i'm sharing the screen there's going to be an echo so when you want to speak i'm going to mute the share screen so you don't hear yourself yeah only when you speak there's going to be an echo but i can mute it so like say something now hello hello no echo. Okay, yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, so everything that he's saying here so far is textbook, you know, old school political speech. This is no different than what politicians used to always say. And Joe Biden does this now, actually, where it's just platitudes. It's like, what are we going to do as a people? We need to look forward to the future. We need to even, even something like we need to reform criminal justice, even w without actually saying how to reform it. They just say a bunch of platitudes. It's classic political speech. Politicians speak. But at least, okay, I know that's like nothing, but at least it's not like alienating a whole portion of your country. Like, oh, we need to reform criminal justice. Like, okay, sure, let's, that's good. But we need to reaffirm the nation's commitment to faith. Mm -hmm. Like, hello. I mean, a lot of hello. politicians still do that. Wait, who does that? I don't think Someone. they do that anymore. Well, Ted, Ted Cruz says that we're founded on Judeo-Christian oh, yeah, values. And... Yeah, he says that, but he doesn't think like, okay, so... Did they say, like, as politicians, the agenda is to recommit the nations, um, you know, to, to commit to faith for the entire nation to commit to faith? Is that what they're saying? Like, as politicians, that that's their job? Not to that extent, but what yeah. Kanye West here is saying, like, it's still in line with that sort of thinking to the point where I didn't think much of it any different than what your typical, you know, Christian Republican would say. 
I think this is the, a different level. I think even Christian Republicans don't pretend. I mean, they do. Pre they do pretend that the United States is based on Judeo-Christian values, blah 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 blah, blah and that faith is important. Reli they like should they say religious freedom is an important thing, but they don't say. They don't go as far as, um, you know. At least they might think it, but they won't say it. That like a president's job is to recommit the entire nation to faith, mm -hmm. including like the atheists and the, and by faith they mean Jesus. So. Right. Do you, do you think someone like Marco Rubio would look at this video and go either, oh, wow, that's pretty crazy. You're going a step forward with the stuff, with the God stuff. Or do you think he would say, oh, good for him. He's reaffirming our values. Oh, they think he's crazy. They think this man is crazy. Oh, wow, but wow. They, they, you know that this no, no, this specific uh, sentence, though, they think like, yeah, you're not supposed to say uh, say that out loud or something like that. Maybe mm -hmm. not Marco Rubio, but someone like Ted Cruz is like, yeah, that's our mission, but we don't openly say that to people. Um, I mean, this is a, this is like a, this is he's he's advocating for the theocracy, right? Because if, as president, his main mission is to recommit the entire nation to faith, against like against the wishes of the people that do not have faith, that is like he he wants a theocracy. Well, that's it depends what on what he does it, on how he does it. If he just does it or wants it in a way that it's just it just becomes the social and cultural norm to be a Christian rather than like forcing it. I think mm -hmm. that's different than like implementing policies and something that would force um, Christianity to yeah. ultimately be the, the religion of the country. Right. But he doesn't understand any of that crap. No, he doesn't know. What he, he has no <laughs> idea what he's doing. Like we'll get to it. Well, like once it, we'll move, I'll show you another clip later to show you how either this guy is like just trolling or he's just really, really dumb really really dumb and i've and i'm voting on really really dumb and i'll i'll show you why i think he's just really dumb but maybe he's just the best troll ever we'll see the audio is off oh yeah well so he wants to okay so here here's the interesting faith so look at this, look at this. he doesn't understand freedom of religion hold on People will revive our nation's commitment to faith, to what our constitution calls the free exercise okay, the of religion. The constitution saying the free exercise of religion has nothing to do with committing the entire nation to faith. He's like, we're going to commit the entire nation to faith, and in the constitution, that's called the free exercise of religion. Those are not the same thing. <laughs> those two things are not. One of those things are not like the other. <laughs> I, just think, okay. I don't think you understand. What the, yeah, just the Constitution is saying the government is not going to meddle in religion. That's not at all saying that, yes, you're, you as a president or any other government official is going to commit the nation to faith. By the way, let me know if you ever, uh, uh, Vince, once you j jump in, I'll just mute uh, meet the video right away so don't don't worry about that including of course prayer through prayer faith can be restored we as a people are called to a greater purpose than ourselves we are not only a beacon to the world but we should be you know okay look at this image greater than ourselves right you see this space exploration no prayer was involved in making this possible. <laughs> Such a shame. A bunch of atheists probably helped do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of atheists were involved in this process. And zero prayers. Mm -hmm. Only a beacon to the world, but we should be servants to each other, to encourage each other, to help each other, to lift up each other, our fellow Americans, that we may all prosper together. We have to act on faith with the sure knowledge that we are pursuing the right goals and doing the right things. Yes, let's do the right things and not do the bad things. Yay, I am for good. I am running for president because I stand for good things. Good things are good and bad things are bad. We will build a stronger country by building stronger families. <gasps> okay, shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. You have no business as government telling people stronger families stronger families you know this is this obsession okay i'm gonna meet this because I feel, i'm sure you have something to say about this um this obsession with 
stronger families. It's just because, you know, people, some people want family, some people don't want family. Some people want a strong family, some people want to experiment with families, and then they change their mind and then they go to something else, okay? Maybe families are a good thing, maybe it's a bad thing. You know whose business that is? It's their business. It's, it's you know who should step who, who who should stay out of whether people have families or not have families. The government. It has you. It's not your job to be involved in. See, these are these are right wing people that support this. By the way, like oh, a strong family. What happened to the nuclear family? And they're also saying like oh, the government should stay out of people's businesses and uh, stay out of people's individual life choices and like uh, yeah including families you know, ma you know the government you know should be focusing on i don't know health care taxes foreign policy building roads police reform but you're telling people like getting involved in like Oh yeah, strong families. Like, isn't that exactly the too much government involvement in people's personal lives that the Republicans pretend that they're against? Yeah, this is some like 1960s freaking nuclear family vision that he has. Yeah. But even like, what are you gonna do exactly to to do this? To promote what, strong families. Yeah. What do you promote? Okay. No. Donald Trump supports strong families. He's, he hasn't done anything because there's nothing to do. Yeah, what, what do you do? Do policies? Just yeah. advocate for it? People aren't going to vote for you based on you advocate. Well, I shouldn't say that. Yes, people. <laughs> there are definitely people out there that will vote for him just based off of that. But there's nothing that you're saying that relates to the government or should relate to the government at all. Nothing. Right. This is just platitudes. This is just your opinions on how things should be, not on whether or not you're going to do anything about it. It's, it's nonsense. I think strong families could sometimes be code for we're going to be homophobic and transphobic. Mm. Yeah, I f As a, sure. especially if you're promoting specifically the nuclear family. Yes. Very specifically yeah. that's. And I think that's very what strong, yeah, I think that's what strong families is code for. So I'm not sure if it's here, but if it's not that, then what is it? What are mm -hmm. you going to do? What are you going to do as a politician to promote strong families? Maybe just I mean, focus on providing people what they need rather than telling them how to live their lives. Yeah, and even then, like, what exactly, what, what exa when you say strong families, what is it you're opposing? Divorce? Uh, are you opposing specifically, you know, fathers that run away and don't take care of their children? Why don't you just say, why are you even saying strong families in the first place? What is the opposite of that? Yeah, uh, yeah like, um, gay families yeah, or exactly. divorced what families mean. what's wrong with that so what is it that you're arguing against you're telling us what you're for but what does that mean when we're talking about what it is you're against this whole by the way this whole vision of how a family should be is like it's so stupid like you know there are a lot of people that could be happy uh, single or non-traditional families they, you know, everybody has to discover this themselves. Like this whole idea of like, oh, this is the right way to live, and promoting that idea of like, oh yeah, it's going to be a mother, a father, and children, and this ha this is this is just the way to this is just mm -hmm. the way to do it, right? It's like, no, no, th no, thank you. Well, you know, everybody will. Maybe it's great. I mean, I'm sure it's great for a lot of people, right? Um, but again, you don't. The government doesn't get to decide that for people. Let's continue. Audio. Oh yeah, let's go back. Yeah, this. Yeah, I, 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 I'm pretty sure this family thing is basically code for some other stuff. Look at this. Stronger families. Country by building stronger families. Families are the building blocks of society of a nation by turning to faith we will be the kind of nation the kind of people god intends us to be i am kanye west and i approve this message 2020 I, at least if this was 2024 i would be like okay maybe it's not completely insane but the fact that this is 2020 is like what the hell 